guys, uh, this is part, um, 15? Yeah, 15. I think, yeah. Close enough, if it's not. <laughs> oh no, it's gamers. Oh yeah, this room. What a little thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's other ways to... The way I've done it once is, uh, you can get out of this map. If you look up at this tree, I guess it's a branch. Or is it you look straight up at the tree? I can't remember. You have to look up. And then you gotta lock your vision. You gotta try to jump out like that. It took me a while to get, but you can actually jump outside of the map and then around underneath some stuff. I mean, you can't go far, but yeah, it's interesting. For sure. At least it was for me. And uh, if you're going to attempt that for me, just telling you, um, I'm telling you, do not, uh, I think it was, yeah, don't go into morph ball mode when you get outside of the map, because I've read and heard that you can seriously screw up your save data somehow. On your memory card. I don't know if that's true, but I never wanted to take the risk. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. We can unmorph ball in here because there's all this venom weed. Have we scanned venom weed? Of course we have. Let's get this, and there we go. That's a freebie if you ever seen one. It's just in the middle of your path to get out of this room. Hey, now we have 100 missiles, don't we? Oh, and we're here. We're gonna need the gravity suit for this place. Oh. Everything is so much easier with the ice beam. Look at it. Just freeze them, freeze them, missile. You're done. You're done and on your way. Missile him. Crash frigate, so you see some space pirates around here. Space pirate creature is critically injured. Cranial trauma indicates likelihood of brain damage. Oh, he's mentally damaged. Isn't that just a shame? There's another one, too. I think it's more over here underneath this rock, but he's just laying there with like broken legs. Oh, the poor space pirate's got brain damage. That's so sad. Leave them live until I have the gravity suit. I mean, why, why kill them now? Poor space pirates. What? Oh, there's arrow pirates there too. I like how there's these two. Oh, yeah, these flying pirates don't even fight you. They just leave. Because they were collecting this right here. It appears to be the same type of container found on the Space Pirate Research Frigate. Yep, from the beginning of the game. The material seeping from the er or from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analysis indicates that this may be the phazon compound the Space Pirates were using in their biological experiments. And that it is. This is phazon. If you touch it, it stings you. Ow. Okay, this doesn't sting you, it just frickin' hurts you, apparently. See, this phazon's more in, like... A liquid state instead of the weird kind of a plant growth kind of weed looking thing it does usually but yeah I like how these flying pirates were here and they were just taking this phase on and leaving with it and they got their brain damaged friend over there and the dude with the broken knees I mean they just leave they don't care they just leave them there it's like what a bunch of nice guys these guys managed to actually survive from the frigate crashing I think it exploded and then crashed. And yet, they survived. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, one's got brain damage and two are cripples, probably for life. But still. And yet, those other space parts, just, just leave them. Just, who cares? Grapple beam. Even though we scanned it there, we're gonna have to scan it again once we actually get the, uh, grapple beam. Because then it'll be a research. Yep, this room. Even though you could get in this room before as long as you had more ball. Um, uh, there's not a missile expansion in here, is there? I, uh, I don't think 
anything, so why can't I hit these? leads you back to your landing site. Funny how you land. Not that far from where the uh, frigate crashed. Yet you never notice it. You think that would have been something to see or hear. I mean, depending on when it crashed. Kind of been long, because, I mean, you can get the morph ball pretty quickly. And still come back here and then use it there to get to the frigate and see it at least. Ooh. We'll go here. Head into the Chozo Artifact Temple. Oh yeah, this is floating above the impact crater where the Leviathan Seed from Planet Phase crashed and I'm pretty sure brought Metroid Prime with it, actually. Which isn't even a Metroid exactly, but it communicates well with Metroid, so that's why it's called Metroid Prime. My throat's kind of sore, I hope that's not because I'm getting sick, that'd be, that'd be awful. Especially so close from Dick. Three is coming out. Space part encrypted data decoded. Oh, this is actually a, yeah, that's actually a pirate data. Even though from the looks like you think it was a Chozo data. But it's not. This headset's making my neck itch, so hopefully my friend Covert Kev can uh, get me a microphone that he says he has laying around at his place. He says he has two, and that if he gives me one and it's not that good of quality, that he would give me the other one. Yep, see? Two lore in here. Now, I think we're almost done with the lore. Chozo. One, two, and two left. Ah, uh, where is that two again? Sure that's the first artifact you're supposed to obtain. Even though I already have the second one. See, and then these light up for you to scan, which you're going to want to. Ooh, a sun chamber. Hint in green letters, sun chamber. Maybe there's a room called that. Oh yeah, there is.
invaders, space pirates, have claimed Fendrena as their own. A tower sits atop their fortress, which is the research center. Collapse it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of Elder is held. Well, I don't understand why it's in their tower, because I'm pretty sure pirate data suggests that they're trying to destroy the artifacts. Another one. A tall cave stands at Fendrena's Edge. I'm pretty sure there's a room called Fendrena's Edge. I suppose all the map data you collect is kind of from all the Chozo data coming from your suit, because your suit is Chozo made, obviously. Uh, yeah, see, these ones you can't scan until you unlock more of the artifacts. I don't know why it's like that. That was really bothering me before. Gravity pulses within the Fendrena area. <gasps> what? Is this where the gravity suit is? Ah, uh, indeed it is. The gravity chamber. Let's do it. Can I scan this thingy now? Can I scan these thingies? See, bam, one hit, bam, one hit. So much time was saved. Or at least a lot of frustration, a lot of button tapping. Alright, uh, Place there should have been a boss fight at. Ah. Uh, there. Okay. Yeah, like I said um, a couple episodes ago, got some component cables, so the quality should be a little better than it was previously. And I suppose until they're uploaded, I can't really tell if they will be on YouTube. Because with YouTube, you never know what you're going to get, for quality at least. North. I'm a 
assuming since it's an elevator, it leads to whatever south. And more south. So I'm hoping that this will be the right way. My logic is correct. Because it will be relatively close to entering the spaceport base, and also because there's a white door in that elevator, which either leads to a possible missile expansion or something of that sort, or it may possibly actually lead right to the grab chamber itself. I don't know. See, ice beam isn't always best for shooting them, but thankfully, even when you lock on, Samus actually uh, leads them a little bit with her gunfire. And you just freeze these, no need for more ball. people to walk through with them, which would have been a, a tremendous honor, because Pikmin 3 and the Pikmin series has been a huge part of my gaming uh, lifetime. Sure, we'll call it that. And I just don't like it that I look on YouTube and I've already seen someone do like a complete Let's Play, like already like a while ago, so they must have gotten the Japanese version got it from Japan over to America, which is stupid. I mean, that's not fair. I mean, why would you do that? I just need to get the first views the earliest, but I just don't appreciate that. That's just a really... It's a low move. And plus all the people in Europe and all the European reviewers and stuff. Or the English, maybe, I should say. And Australian. I mean, they're gonna have walkthroughs and gameplay all over YouTube. By the time I get any uploaded. Yeah, by the way, that's the, uh... You need a platform beam for that. But it's really depressing. Because I was hoping that was going to be how my YouTube channel here was finally going to get off the ground. I mean, there's been tons of Metroid Prime walkthroughs up there, and I'm just doing this. Trying to grab interest, I suppose. right to it. But anyways, 
But yeah, that disappoints me, because I thought that was going to be where I was finally going to get some popular, because I thought, hey, I'm going to be one of the first people to review or do a Let's Play of Pikmin 3. Yeah, it's awesome. That's not how it's turning out. Because America's got to get it so late, and there's no way I'm spending money to get it early over from Japan. Because I don't have that money. If I had the money, yeah, I would. I honestly would. Uh, if it's in Japanese, though. Change it to English settings then if you get it from Japan? No. Probably. I didn't watch any because I don't want any spoilers. Because honestly, even though I love Pikmin, I decided not really to look at any of the game updates before it came out. I'm definitely not watching any of anyone else's Let's Play on Pikmin 3. Because I'm going to play that fresh. Like, I'm going to have no sp Wah! Ah! Ah! Hunter Metroid. Things can be tough. I don't know why I switched to wave beam. Oh, to open that door. Yeah, that's why. What did I tell you? A mechanic that's going to be used over and over again. That one too is going to need to be used to uh transverse. No, that one is going to be used for uh to getting a missile expansion. That's the word. So as you see, there's a missile expansion in there, but it's below this ice. And you Break the ice using one of these stalactites. Whatever, stalactites, stalagmites, meh, whatever. Yay, save station. guys and happy happy metroid prime hunting later